Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Playmates Toys, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Half Shell Heroes, Leo. Maintaining uh, or continuing our looks with abbreviated turtle names. Instead of having Leonardo, we've got Leo. Leo comes with some sort of flying apparatus, which I kind of think looks a little more like something that Donatello would have been included with. But needless to say, it has blue wings, so we know it's Donatello's or Leonardo's. Sorry, Leo. Uh, it is recommended for ages 3 and up, as it does contain some small parts. Uh, as with the other turtle toys... Uh, Leo does come with his katanas, but they are fixed, so you wouldn't be able to remove them. On the back of the package, aside from two packs, which seem to be the hardest things to find in stores right now, uh, the Turtle Brothers all come with their own respected vehicles. And I thought I actually had picked up Michelangelo uh, with his skateboard, but it turns out I did not. I feel bad for almost disappointing you guys in advance, but I, I don't like cruel surprises. I forgot to tell you guys right now. A brief read-up says coming out of their shells for the very first time, the half-shell heroes are ready for non-stop uh, ninja adventure. I must have pizza on the brain. You can join the fun-loving brothers in their pizza, there we go, pizza-fueled missions as they team up to mess with the menacing mutants and stop the shredder. What I am going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to pay a better look. Leo, even though he's got Donatello's wings, but we're gonna have a look at Leo. There's more heading away, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Let's first have a look at Leo. Now, you know that's Leonardo, but we'll call him Leo for now. He's got himself some uh, katanas, as I mentioned. Uh, they uh, they are affixed. I keep using big words. They they just mean you can't take them out. You can't take these little swords out of Leo's hand. Uh, they are painted very nice. Handles aren't painted, though, which is a shame, but the blades themselves are painted in a nice silver color. Uh, for a comparison to maybe like the other turtles that we've looked at, let's move this out of the way. There's Leo. There's Donnie. And last but certainly not least, where is he? Right there. There he is. There's Raph. They've continued the tradition of having all the Turtles brothers colored in the same colors as they are in every other incarnation. So the six inch version figures, the very much taller figures as well, they all have that same coloring. So Raph is always that kind of dark green. Leo's always more like a kind of a lime green and uh, Donnie's the lighter green. But they all go well with each other. The only one that's really missing right now is uh, Michelangelo. Moving the two out of the way. Spots have already, of course, done the review of that, so you guys can check those out if you haven't had a chance yet. Thank you. Um, for your articulation on Leo, his head does rotate. Arms do rotate all the way around. And also his arms reach out. They open up like that. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, and then, of course, his legs do rotate, but the individual legs don't move. It's They move at the same time. Uh, they all also are peg points on the undersides of Leo's feet, but he doesn't come with a display stand. But you might be able to use it for uh, like the play sets. Uh, we haven't had a look at the play sets yet. Maybe Leo actually attaches to those. So there you have Leo. Moving along to this kind of winged bat glider that comes with Leo. It's actually neat. And uh, it seems like all the vehicles have some sort of gimmick. The motorcycle had those like little buzzsaw blades. Donnie's sled come, came with the catch a crane claw. Yeah, catch a crane! Well, Leo's in similar fashion. You can just, there's this little wheel here. And when you slide the wheel back, or you just kind of pivot your, foot, your finger back and forth on it, it flaps its wings. Nice, simple touch, but a touch that I do enjoy. Uh, what you can also do, too, is there's a little clip here. Swing this forward like so, and you can clip it onto Leo's back. Now, Leo could be standing with it as well, or 
move these down kind of have to get them around Leo like so and uh, you know you have something that looks like that he can fly and still swing his his katanas and you can still have the wings flapping not always the easiest to get to but you can still have him flapping his wings I would love to have seen more of these like a little winged pieces if I can imagine myself which surprisingly if you can find it hard to believe I don't have a tough time imagining myself as seven years old but seven years old version of myself would totally dig these toys especially like these little vehicles like that I mean that's those are really neat um, I can also see why these are the big popular toy this year for Christmas as every store I seem to be going to uh, they seem to be selling out of these fast fast uh, digging the Leo here still kind of think I like Raph's bike a little bit more but I love this little winged contraption that he comes included with as well today's toy spot we were continuing our looks at the Playmates toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles half shell heroes today we're having a look at Leo with his little winged glider thingamajiggy stay tuned guys spots gonna continue as we keep having looks at the Playmates toys half shell hero toys so there's more videos heading your way. See you guys then.